Hello everyone! Today we will going to show the LC of an electric fan using a high shutter speed settings and get a sharp image even in its high speed rotation. And we will also going to shoot a night photography using farm rockets using long exposure style in a slow shutter speed settings. But before that, I will going to explain to you the exposure triangle. And if you're ready, let's start now. So the exposure triangle are the three settings that will help you get a correct exposure. You have your ISO, your shutter speed, and also your aperture. Each of these settings is gonna get you to a correct exposure. But what's more important about the exposure triangle is understanding each of these settings blue to your photos and what attributes they add to your photos. Starting out with the shutter speed. The shutter speed is essentially how fast the shutter opening and closing to let light in your camera. So when your shutter speed is very low, it lets in more light. And when your shutter speed is very high, it lets in less light. The attributes that come along with your shutter speed is that when your shutter speed is very low, you get a motion blur, kind of like this. But if your shutter speed is very high, you get no motion blur at all. It actually stops all the motion. Next up is aperture. Your aperture is kind of like the iris on your eye. When it's wide open, it lets in more light. And when it's top down, it lets in less light. The other bits that come along with this is when your aperture is low, then you will get more very background or depth of field. And when you get a high aperture, then everything is in focus. Here's an example of low aperture settings. As you can see, there's some blurry background on it. And here's an example of high aperture settings. As you can see, everything is in focus. And last but not least is ISO. The ISO is basically your camera's sensitivity to light. The lower the ISO is, the less light it takes in. And the higher the ISO is, the more light it takes in. The attributes that come along with the ISO is grain. So when your ISO is low, your photos are cleaner and crisper. And there is less noise and grain in the photo. Whereas if your ISO is very high, you're gonna get very grainy, muddy photos. So basically, the way the exposure triangle works is you're balancing all of these three settings to get a proper exposure. So now that we understand all of these settings and what they're doing, let's try now to use all of these settings in taking a pro-level photography. So in here, we will go into shoot the LSD of the electric fan while it is rotating fast. To make that happen is, I will adjust my shutter speed to a higher setting you will see it becomes darker. So we will adjust our ISO to a higher setting to make it brighter. Our aperture cannot be controlled in our smartphones, but that's fine. And now that our exposure is correct now, we will take the shot. And here is our shot. As you can see, we use a high shutter speed setting to capture it sharp while in its fast rotation. And by adjusting our ISO higher, to make it brighter for better dynamic range and details. And now, we will take an amazing night photography by igniting these fire rockets and capturing all of its motion using long exposure style in photography. Let's do it now. So my settings that I'm going to use here is slow shutter speed setting to capture all the motions of the fire rocket. And now, let's put our shutter speed in 30 seconds. And remember, when you boost down your shutter speed, it will let in more light. So I will adjust my ISO in 200 to balance the exposure. You can clearly see the changes in here now. But after you take the shot, you will see the magic there. So I will take the shot first before I ignite the fire rocket. Here we go. 3, 2, 1... You wait when it's done taking. And here's our photo now. 
As you can see, we get all the motion of the fire rocket by adjusting our shutter speed and very low setting. We can see that all of the details of the fire rockets has been captured. But to make this shot, you need a tripod because you need the most stable position for your camera. You also need more understanding in the manual mode to make this long exposure style shot in night photography. But I believe you can do it too. Amazing photo, right? And now that you understand how the exposure triangle works, you can now apply it in your crime scene photography. And that's basically it guys. Until next time.